Well, hello, 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 everyone. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libra, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Woman is God. Woman, you know you God, don't you? You are, girl. That's what you are, woman, with your beautiful self. Know thyself. Know the power that you possess and walk in that confidence, okay? You are the creator. I mean, come on. Who else has a portal for souls to come through? Ain't that dope? You dope as hell. So know the power that you possess. Know thyself. Don't let these men put you on the bottom of the totem pole. They know what's up. You know what I'm saying? We just need you to know what's up. All right? All right. Well, you know, I'm here, Divine Feminine, as usual. I got to get my girls a message. You know what I'm saying? Where my girls at? Where my girls at? Where my girls at? You know what I'm saying? Where y'all energy at, y'all? Where y'all energy at? Let me feel y'all. Where y'all at? Where my girls at? From the front to back, good as you feeling that? You know what I'm saying? Where my girls at? Where my girls at? There y'all go. I'm feeling y'all energy. There y'all go. That's where my girls at. Before we dive into my message, our message, you know. Well, first of all, if this is the first time, because I do have a lot of new subscribers, I want to welcome everybody. The channel is growing, and I want to thank you guys. I mean, you know, we need a place where Divine Feminine can come and just chill. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't got to worry about no toxicity or nothing because we bucking bitches about our environment. You hear what I'm saying? Look if you book, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because we going to book your ass. You know what I'm saying? So get on up out of here. Get. Now you get. You know what I'm saying? You know? So Divine Feminine, girl. Oh, before we get into our message, honey. Of course, you know, we got to be relentless with our protection. You know what I'm saying? Because um, these bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just don't get it. They don't get it. They sending us evil eyes. And we're going to return to Macinda. You know, I got my boy Elvis here as usual. I'm channeling his energy. And uh, he made a song famous about turning, returning to Cinder. You want to hear it? Here it goes. Return to Cinder. Yeah. Address unknown. Yeah. No such number. No such phone, yeah, no such number, no such phone. So, baby, you getting your evil eye right back at you, you know what I'm saying? So, stop doing work on yourself, idiot. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to tell you twice, you know what I'm saying? Keep on doing it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's crazy. This is an environment of love, of healing, of consciousness, of awareness, of elevation. And if you're not on it, you know, you're not on no type of enhancement, you know what I'm saying? Get on up out of here. You're in the wrong space. You went through the wrong door. And we will forcefully remove you out of our energy. Don't you feel small in here with us? Because we sitting up high, baby, looking down at you. Because that's how we, that's how, that's how our spirituality is. We so strong in the spirit that we giants. You know what I'm saying? So you look minuscule. So get on up out of here. Get now, you get. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to return your evil eye. I return your evil eye. We to return your evil eyes, and you know we rebuking your negative energy, sweetheart. So I rebuke your negative energy away from me, as I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me, as I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me, as I will it, so mote it be. Above all, I will not be your victim. Y'all know it. Y'all just doing the job because y'all got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already got your helmet on because, you know, you finna get cracked upside the head. Y'all just doing it. And that's crazy because you know the results. That's insanity. You know what I'm saying? But that's karmic. You know what I'm saying? That's low vibe and toxicity, what you are, okay? You know, they're going to elevate one day, Divine Feminine. They're going to elevate one day. I know y'all feel me. Where y'all at, girl? I know y'all feel me, Divine Feminist. Where my girls at? Where my girls at? Where y'all at? Where my girls at? From the front to back, who is you feeling that? You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling that. Where y'all at now? Where my girls at? Where my girls at? Yes. Let's get this energy flowing. You know, Divine Feminine, with this energy shift, um... You got twin flames. You got, I mean, the twins, the twin flames are coming. Everything is going to be come to a conclusion, a resolution. They're either going to, you're going to have two people that are honoring the contract, that did the right thing and went on the right path and they're being together as a power couple and they're doing what they're doing to uplift this uh, vibration of this uh, planet. 
And then you have the ones that are not going to be together. People that breached their contracts that didn't pass the test that are not going to be initiated. Mm. What side of the, the coin are you on, Divine Feminine? The Divine Feminines that I'm talking about now are the ones that are getting with their twins flames. And I'm so happy. I love to talk about love. I get so tired of talking about these crazy ass masculines that's trying to make us be with them because they done messed up their life. And they want to come back to us all old and corroded with gout and ulcers after them hoes done sucked them dry. No, no, I'm tired of that. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about some something beautiful, something beautiful. And it's love. Two people who knew they loved each other and wasn't afraid to share that love with one another. You know what I'm saying? And that love, they building an empire on that love. Oof, Lord, that, mm, 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 I love that. I love that, y'all. I love that. Let's get this energy out here, y'all. Let's get this energy out here. I love that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, enough people don't um, talk about love nowadays. They talk about the blues, going through it, you know what I'm saying, a heartbreak. And no, let's talk about fulfilling your heart for a change, okay? We got enough of talking about heartbreak, you know what I'm saying? Y'all remember when Mary J. Flish switched her style and she stopped singing um, about being unhappy and stuff and she started singing about being happy? You know, people like, we well, liked Mary J. when she was singing. Yeah, of course, y'all would like her when she's sorry and singing the blues because y'all sorry and toxic. But when you love, love, and you are in love, you want to hear high vibing music, high vibrations. You don't want to be down in the dump. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be down there. You know, but some people do. You know what I'm saying? But today we're honoring the twins that came together. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love that, y'all. You know, of course, if this is the first time you've seen my channel, on this channel I do word magic to uh, enhance the third eye of the divine feminine so we can see what's hidden right in front of our face. In this English language, it's not enough to understand, but you need to understand and overstand a word so you can get its true meaning because the English language is an occultic language, manipulative language. And I also, on this channel, I channel messages through music. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm giving divine feminine a message through music. As I shuffle these cards, and I give y'all the message that I had to come in my head. You know what I'm saying? As I sit down, I come here with a message. Then I hear the song as I sit down. You know? And I'm hearing my girl right now. Let's get this energy here. So thank you to all my new subscribers. And tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell a friend, girl. Because this is where we need to come chill. Divine feminists. Uh, pussy rules here. Squad up. You hear what I'm saying? What's the energy we got? Strategy. Hmm strategy hmm somebody strategizing are you strategizing divine feminine wow somebody's strategizing about a spiritual contract can you believe that Somebody is actually trying to strategize on how to renew their contract, how to get a renewed contract with you, Divine Feminine. That's what, the, what they want to do. But you have a lot of, um, this person breached this contract. Okay, this is what I'm getting. You, 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 you got a contract that's breached. Okay, so this person has been removed and replaced. Okay, you're very beautiful and you have a lot of other suitors. You know, and this person that was replaced out of this contract, he knows this. So he's doing magic. You know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to strategize a way to get, he's, he's doing magic to you drop your guard so he can come towards you with, and love bomb you. So he can, so he can renew this contract with you. He thinks that this would balance things off. I mean, and he's think this is what he's thinking about. He's thinking about how this uh, contract has, spiritual contract you have with him has ended. And he's trying to figure out a way to open the door to romance. This person is attached to your energy. Very attached to his energy. He was trying to act like he didn't care that you moved on with your life. You know, because this person has been replaced. And you're in a reunion with this, you're in a union with this particular person that has, that has replaced this person. And this person is upset and he's, you know, um, envious and jealous that you guys are going to have a new beginning you guys having a cornucopia and everything i mean this is a beautiful caring connection you know what i'm saying and this is 
hurt this masculine that has been replaced. I mean, this has caused a tower in his life. And he wants to try to deceive you in any way that he can to break you guys up. You know what I'm saying? This person is going through anxiety. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person is, he's going through karma because the divine is turning his ass up. He getting downloads on you and, um, how you was the angel of love and how he let it go and it's just killing him to see you with somebody and he know and, and and sharing this love that he that he knew he's supposed to have with you this person is ready to come take action towards you because he wants this connection but you're too late honey he's probably going to try to come away come and give you some type of roses or something to show that he appreciates you but you're walking away honey you closing the gate to your garden and you are not letting them in. Far as you is concerned, you and this person is a conclusion and you're happy with who you 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 got. You all tied up with somebody new. I know that's right, girl. Got you a new boo. You got you a new connection. This person was indecisive about this connection. So you made the decision for his ass. You know what I'm saying? And when you walked away from this per person, the door of the spirit opened up. You know what I'm saying? The spirit just came in, ended this cycle, gave you a rest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have a very strong soul family. You do. Your angels and ancestors and your spirit guys, they don't pay to play about you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they're giving you this blossom in abundance. Because you deserve this. Because you did the right thing. Your door to value is open. Um, so you're coming into a lot of finances and stability here. I mean, because you did the right thing. Your third eye is, is open you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're getting all these messages and stuff and, and you having happiness and success in your life. You know what I'm saying? And this person wants to come and try to tap into your emotions. You know what I'm saying? He want to have sex with you so he can tap into your sacred chakra energy because he knows that you are the door to his personal healing and happiness. Yeah. Yeah. He wants a new beginning with you. But you end it and, you, and you're stepping out on a new venture it's something you having a new beginning you could be on the internet or something and it's going to be very lucrative for you and people love you actually and this person is sitting up here watching you and he's broken hearted that you having all this recognition and success and people are loving you and he's broken hearted over here dealing with these women that he's dealing with you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's broken hearted that he picked them instead of this healer. You are a healer. Yeah. And now he's going through karma. He's having financial constraints. He's over there horny for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's hostile. Probably may want to fight you or something. You know what I'm saying? But you was patient. You know what I'm saying? And you just waited on the divine. And now you created something. Girl, you finna have a new beginning. Whatever you create is getting you on some elevation. You going on the upper level. You know what I'm saying? It's bringing you a lot of abundance. And you're with someone and you have a happy family. Y'all could have two children. No, you have a blended family with this particular person. One of you guys have a little boy. One of you guys have a little girl and y'all a blended family. You know what I'm saying? This is your foundation. You know what I'm saying? And you loving it. You know what I'm saying? You created an environment for you and your loved ones. And it's nice and pretty and clean and quality and just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And, um, uh, you're not letting nobody else into your garden. You know what I'm saying? And I don't blame you. You know what I'm saying? you worried about getting your money. You know what I'm saying? And the man that, you, that you're with, he was sent by the divine to come in and take care of you. Yeah, and he's doing that too. And this masculine is watching you guys be in a partnership, and he's very envious. He's very envious. This is your. This was some the one that's supposed to be uh, your twin flame. But he got replaced with a soulmate. And you got the victory. You know what I'm saying? You could um, be owning a business or something. You got it going on. Um, very business minded, uh, financially secure. Um, you could have like a witchy vibe by you. You know what I'm saying? You work with the herbs of the earth, crystals and things like that. I'm loving that. You sound like me. You know what I'm saying? And you got this person's heart, which you don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Because you're with someone else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and you're being seen by a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people. You're very strong and powerful. You empowered yourself. You have this confidence about yourself. And this person wants to talk to you, but you don't want to talk to him. Whatever you're doing is in communication. 
You know what I'm saying? You said communication on the internet. And you're going on a new journey, honey. You're in a collaboration with the universe. And you ain't trying to hear nothing this masculine is trying to talk about. You're thankful for the partner the divine has sent you. You fell in love. And now, y'all going down the other big road. You and your partner. And this masculine is just sitting up here looking stupid. Trying to strategize how he can, how he can break y'all up. You know what I'm saying? That's a shame. And y'all so much in love. And he's sitting back watching it and envious. You know what I'm saying? So you be obedient. The divine is going to send you exactly what you want. You know what I'm saying? And this is love. This is love, baby. You know what I'm saying? This is um, this uh, the woman in here, she did, right? So the divine got rid of her twin flame and let him just go in the abyss that he chose. And he replaced the twin flame with a soulmate, a twin ray. Somebody that's going to do her right and treat her right. And they are in love. You know what I'm saying? Let's get these tarot cards out here, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm channeling uh, Regina Bell, y'all. This is love. I'm, I love that. I love, I'm, I'm about ready to cry. I love love. I'm such a romantic. I hate to see people break up. You know what I'm saying? I know sometimes it's needed, but I be like, man, is this the last resort? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you know, all my relationships have, have, have been long. Uh, my first relationship was three, my next was nine, my next was 12, and now I'm in a relationship uh, going on 11 to be 11 years in February. You know what I'm saying? So I love love. I like lasting love. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this tarot out here. Let's get this message. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've seen your face before, somewhere, somehow I know, of that I'm sure. Yeah, they coming together. You turned and smiled at me, and stored in something I never thought would be. I wish that you and I would meet again some way cause I never felt this way for anyone else no baby this is love this is love ooh I think I'm falling for you this is love, only love, nobody make me feel like you do, no one but you, you know what I'm saying, what we got here y'all, what we got here out here so far, but you know what I'm saying, look at this, look at this mask and that's been replaced. He's so young, it's, I mean, immature, stupid, and here he come with his basket now. You don't want no love offers. You got you a man, baby. So get your ass on. Now he's ready to make a commitment with his immature ass. He's not ready for you. Go and grow, okay? Go and grow, okay? What we got out here? What we got out here? What we got out here? Well, you avoided a tower. <laughs> You avoided a tower. Uh, this person is trying to sabotage you. Like I told you, he's trying to strategize on how he can break up this, this beautiful relationship that you have. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he need to get him some business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he chose his path, so leave you alone. You know what I'm saying? This person is very delusional. This person is jealous. This person is a pathological liar, a con artist. And this person suppressed his feelings for you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time for that. That's why the divine replaced this bastard. Replaced this immature, uh, non-emotional ass bastard. You know what I'm saying? This person is ready to come to you. I mean, he's trying to come towards you and sabotage what you have. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you and this person, whatever foundation you have, wherever you live, this person is, uh, he has this coven, this coven of women. That he's having sex with, by the way. You know what I'm saying? The main one, um, because you are two uh, melanated people. And the main one is a white woman, okay, that he's screwing. And she's the head of this coven. And so he done got her, done lied to her, told her something, I don't know, because she's a witch. 
So he done lied to her and to get her to do some spell work. This is strategy, you know what I'm saying? To create some, some commotion, which there's no commotion. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want his ass. You know what I'm saying? So he done hired, he got these witches or got in their head to get them to come and just mess your life up. Uproot your foundation, your money, everything. Uproot your happiness. Just sabotage you. You know what I'm saying? Because he's jealous. He's ready to come to you. And, and you got somebody else. He's jealous. Boy, if you don't get your raggedy ass out of here, you know what I'm saying? I mean, immature, stupid looking, looking like his name Willie. Come here, Willie. Willie, get your ass out of here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's ridiculous. I know that it takes time for love to grow this far. But still I wait. You're all I'm dreaming of, all I'm thinking of. I need you so much. I pray that heaven will guide us so that we can be together again. Till the end of time, just you and I. Me loving you, this is love, this is love, ooh, I think I'm falling for you, this is love, uh -huh. only love, nobody makes me feel like you do, no one but you, see? His spell work ain't working. They spell work is not working. You know what I'm saying? This is a, this a woman that he's with, this white woman that he's with, uh, her and her friends, this white woman, she comes from a family with money. Okay? Wicked family that are wicked. You know what I'm saying? And they uh been given this masculine money. You know what I'm saying? And, um... You know, <sighs> this person, man, you're getting justice from this lying ass person. This kind order that's just trying to sabotage you. You're going to get justice. And your justice is you being with this couple. You know what I'm saying? This is love for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's, this person is being exposed that he's been doing, uh, he's been being exposed uh, for doing spell work on you. Um, this person may be in some legal trouble for doing it, for trying to betray you, trying to exploit you, trying to sabotage you because you have a great beginning coming. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're coming out of financial ruin. OK, you're coming out of financial ruin. If you had any problem for his work and employment, you're never going to worry about that again. Um, you're going to always have work. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this person is getting some legal trouble for trying to betray you and sabotage you. You ain't did nothing to this person. You know what I'm saying? He done got with this bitch, this ravioli head ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Her and her wicked ass family. You know what I'm saying? It's all about money for them. You know what I'm saying? You know, doing all this to you because you're going to have this money, because you're going to have this new beginning. You know what I'm saying? That's why he wants to strategize on how to get back in this reunion into this, uh, how he can get this contract. You can't, bitch. You can't get this contract. Who the hell he think he is? You know what I'm saying? Trying to, you know, but it's, it's really your decision. But you've listened to the divine, and the divine does not want you to be with this particular person. You know? All your hard times you have with this person is coming to an end. You know what I'm saying? You could be getting a, a new job after prolonged unemployment. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and this is, your faith has been renewed. You, you, you're recovering from a financial uh, ruin, this spell work that this person has been doing on you. You know what I'm saying? Your in luck is going to be improving. Um, if you had a, some health problems or something like that, you went through a rehabilitation and you healed yourself. If you have any debt, all your debts are going to be replayed. I mean, this is the light for you at the end of your tunnel. You know what I'm saying? Um, after these people try to betray you.
after this mess and got all these people to betray you because you didn't want to be with him. He didn't want to be with you. So he decided for you not to go. He didn't want you to go on with your life while he with all these women over here that he's screwing that's doing spell work on you. You know what I'm saying? And you so happy with this particular person that you with now. You know what I'm saying? You don't want his ass. And the spell work is not working. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's doing it so you can love him and think about him and stuff. He's trying to get you to think about him and be nostalgic about him. But it's not working. You know what I'm saying? It's unrequited love. You don't want nothing to do with him. This person is controlling, honey. He could be sending uh, entities to your home. Uh, I mean, because he's upset, honey. This is a person that's unbalanced. He's totally unbalanced. And you're going to get a well-deserved rest from this person. Um, your ancestors and your spirit guides, the divine is not allowing this person to court you at all. Not at all. They got you with somebody. You know what I'm saying? He is not going to be with you. You're in this queen of wands energy. You know what I'm saying? This person, um, this person has a, a very unhealthy attachment to you from the past. Just some, you know, a very unhealthy attachment. He just don't want you to let him go. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to let you go, but you're not, he don't want, you're not giving him any of your energy. You done found, a, you got a new foundation, a new, somebody you growing a uh, foundation with y'all laying up roots, y'all loving each other and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing you in the backyard planting a garden and he helping you, you know what I'm saying? Helping you plant the flowers and stuff. I mean, you, you know, you got, you got you a man, you know what I'm saying? He helping you with the garden and the flowers, you know what I'm saying? He's into what you into. And I love, you know, even though a man, he can pretend, but you can't be. Try to like some stuff that I like. You know what I'm saying? And everything that these people did over here is an epic fail. All these bitches you hired to do something to Divine Feminine, it's an epic fail. This is the end. And there's no rebirth. It's the end. You know what I'm saying? It's the end. It's over. You know what I'm saying? And she's in love. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. This is somebody that has walked righteously. She didn't defer from the task. And the Divine has kicked this down, masking on about his business and replaced her with somebody else. I'm loving this. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving this. And while this person is going through karma for doing this spell work on her, I mean, just crazy stuff. Him and his wicked ass family. I mean, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Let's go in the, um, the bag. No, no, what, what, what my other Let me get some other cards out here before. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some more energy out here. I mean, it's just crazy. And she's so in love. They so in love. I'm in love with y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What she say? I've been a lot of places and I met up for you, but none compares with you. And more than you, you would ever know of this time, baby. There's no letting go. I'm saying I ain't letting go my man you know what I'm saying especially if he's sent by the divine oh you know he's suited and booted you know what I'm saying yeah let's get some cards out here oh, this is love this is love oh I think I'm falling yeah she falling in love what she say? Nobody makes me feel like you do. No one but you. Yeah. Yes, honey. The divine is always on time. You know what I'm saying? Always. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, honey. Mm hmm. This person is a liar. <laughs> and you getting justice from this person. You know what I'm saying? You didn't empower yourself. You stood your ground against this person and you like boy please your lies and stuff ain't fading me you know what i'm saying your third eye was totally open and you saw this person for what he is you know what i'm saying and he hates that that you have these gifts that you could see right through him which you've always have you you knew he always been a liar you know what i'm saying and you know the divine know that he was trying to develop but this person ain't developed at all and you don't went so much past this person so the divine is like let me send you somebody else and you know the divine is so omnipotent you know what i'm saying the divine know what you be going through when you be going through it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna um take my life for for instance okay let me put a card down on here yeah it's out in the open that this bastard been doing spells on you too 
with his six finger ass. You know what I'm saying? Doing spells on you so he can get your energy. So he can get you to sleep with him. So he can get your energy. It's all about your energy. That's why him and his wicked ass family been doing the spell work on you. Mm -hmm. But you know, when I was going through it with uh, somebody that I was with, and I know the relationship wasn't feasible for me you know what i'm saying we kept breaking up getting back together breaking up and getting back together i know he wasn't the one but for some reason i just couldn't leave this toxic relationship you know what i'm saying now the guy that i'm with now came into my life but in a in a kind of crazy way he was working at a gas station that i used to frequent a lot you know what i'm saying and um um he wouldn't be on the scene as much. It's just whenever I used to be feeling down because I was going through what I was going through with the person that I was with or breaking up with, uh, he would always appear. Or I would always see him. He would always put a smile on my face in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he didn't flirt with me at first. You know what I'm saying? But um, And I didn't flirt with him. He was just a cool, made me laugh or whatever every now and then when I would see him, when I would go to the gas station. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't know that he had his eyes on me because he never came to me like that. You know, but um, once I did uh, break up with the guy that I was with, uh, he flirted with me. As soon as I broke up with this guy, he flirted with me. And I didn't pay him any attention. You know what I'm saying? Because he was younger. Uh, he was different than what I would usually go for. And I was out trying to find a reason. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not? And then I was like, you know what? Let's step outside my box. And let's just see. So, I exchanged numbers with him. And it's been on and popping ever since. That's the best thing I ever did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we dated for a while. I told him I didn't want a relationship. He said he did. And I was like, wow. And he said, but I'll wait. See, that's how the divine does. When the divine knows you're going through something, that man that you're going to get with, he's going to send him in your life. Just so he can make an appearance. You know what I'm saying? So he can be there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... And when he, when it's time to, you know, make that change, he going to make them step up. And that's exactly what he did. Mm, mm, mm. The divine is something else. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's what uh, happened with this particular person. This masculine, this feminine has always been in his life. You know, even after they would leave each other for years when he would have his relationships or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know, always come back toward each other if it's just by happenstance. If y'all just happen to be at a party together, you have mutual friends, y'all came across each other. If y'all lived in the same city, y'all would roll across each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, he's going to keep that person in your energy. You know what I'm saying? And this person didn't take advantage. He didn't take advantage. I guess he, I don't know. But now this, 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 this feminist, she's in love. And he's trying to strategize on how to break this up. What a miserable person. <laughs> hmm. This is love. This is love, baby. This is love. You can send all the chaos, spells, and everything. But if you got love, honey, y'all can get through anything. You don't see the, the torture and the stress when you got love. It brings y'all closer together. That's why you want to be with a person that you struggle with. Because that's love, baby. It ain't nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I think I'm falling for you. This is love. I only love. Nobody makes me feel like you do. No one but you. Yeah, everything is finna balance out for you now, honey. You coming out of this financial ruin, and you was only in financial ruin because of him, because of this masculine. You're going to get justice for this while this bastard is going through karma. This is a person, um, what he wanted for you is going to be for him. He's going to be in lack and in doubt. He's going to be without. You know, trying to rip your foundation, straight up devils, demons. You know what I'm saying? Trying to mess up a happy home, a home-wrecking ass person, a home-wrecking ass dude. You know what I'm saying? That you don't even want. You, I mean, you can't even be faithful to you, to your man. You you know, it's hard out here for a pimp because you always got somebody trying to, you know what I'm saying, get your attention or replace your man. Boy, get on. You know what I'm saying? Go on somewhere. You know what I'm saying? 
you've been uprooted. Go on, on, straight up demon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You detached from this person. You being cold to this person. This person is a devil. You know what I'm saying? And that's why this person mad. That's why he tried to tear everything in your life up, your whole foundation. You know what I'm saying? Um, you detached from this person and you started loving yourself. And that make you be cold toward this person because you started to realize the things that this person was doing to you. And that's not what you do to people that you love. So you detached from his ass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really? You gonna get some witches, some witch bitches to do spell work on this divine feminine? She got children to take care of. You don't care about her children eating. You wanna take her money? Because you mad and in your feelings because she won't get with you? What kind of a man are you? You're not a man. You's a bitch. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> mm -mm. Mm. And you know, in the record, Regina was like, I've seen your face before. Because the divine puts the dude that you're going to be with in your life, like that guy at the gas station. Every blue moon, I would see him. You know what I'm saying? He just popped up out the blue. You know what I'm saying? My guy now. You know what I'm saying? He just popped up out the blue at this gas station. was by my house. I've never seen him. Like, damn, where he come from? You know what I'm saying? He was put there for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You turned and smiled at me and stood in something I never knew would be. See? You know what I'm saying? See, when I was with my guy, you know, even though we were going through changes, I stayed faithful until I got out that relationship. You know what I'm saying? And the divine didn't let my guy flirt with me. You know what I'm saying? Because if he would have flirted with me while I was in that relationship, although it was bad, and I went, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have gave him time of day because I respect my relationship. But as soon as we broke up, what Gina say? You turned and smiled at me. And stood in something I never knew would be. Yeah, I was feeling good this day because I broke up. I felt good. It was like a, a, a lift off of my soul that I broke up with this guy. You know what I'm saying? And I never even paid attention to, to the guy that I'm with now. And then this day, I looked at him. He's like, how you doing? And I'm looking at him. And he has some beautiful big lips. Oh, I'm a sucker for some lips, y'all. And he has some beautiful big lips. I was like, oh, and he was chocolate. I was like, oh, I never really looked at him. You know what I'm saying? And um, started something I never knew would be. Yeah, we in 11 years, 11 years later, here we are. You know what I'm saying? So the divine knows. And girl, I was hurt. You know, I was hurt with that relationship. That was the first time and only time my heart been broken. You know what I'm saying? And my heart had to be broken to open up for this relationship I am in now. You know what I'm saying? The the divine is omnipotent. They're going to give you what you need. He's going to give you what you need, baby. You know what I'm saying? You just got to learn how to let go. And when I let go, I let my boo in. You know what I'm saying? And this is love. This is love. Ooh, I think I'm falling for you. This is love, only love. Nobody makes me feel like you do. No one but you. Yeah, honey. Uh, somebody, you could be doing something in communication. You're doing, you have a career in communication. Yeah, this is where you're going to get this Ten of Pentacles from, that these uh, witches have been working against you, trying not to get you to receive this, uh, all out of the strength of this masculine, strategizing on how to get this contract back with you, but you messed it up. Talk to the divine. Why are you picking? You still ain't learned nothing. The divine snatched this contract from you because of what you did to this divine feminine, and you still doing stuff to her. You done got your contract snatched. And then you's like, I got it snatched. I'm going to do this. Uh, you just ain't had enough, huh? Then you get your contract snatched. You don't think the divine going to do nothing to you for you still uh, bothering this feminine when she's done went on with her life and has someone else and she's in love? Leave her alone. You got these bitches over here that you with. Leave her alone. She detached from you. She's being cold to you. She don't want nothing to do with you. Leave her alone. You mad? 
She wasn't mad at you when you chose these hoes. So why you mad at her? Because she choosing herself. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? She released your ass, purged your ass out of her life. And now she has the love of her life. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the north. Because she in her north. She got her career in communication. That's going to bring her a ten of pentacles. And these bitches over here that he with, they looking at her. Knowing this masculine want her. They trying to compete with her. Bitch, you can't compete when you can't compare, bitch. And he knows this. He's using you, bitch. Don't none of you bitches compare to her. That's why he using you to get to her. With his stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? But she's in love. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? She done fell for old boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been a lot of places and I've been up for you. But nothing compares with you. And more than you, you would ever know. This time, baby. She done slayed his ass. He's a narcissist. He's a narcissist. He wants to be able to do what the hell the hell he want. And he wanted her to sit back and wait till he get done doing what he want and come along. But the divine was like, no, nah, you bastard. I'm taking this contract. He's like, oh, God took my contract. God took my contract. Well, I'm finna fuck her up. I'm finna fuck up her, whatever this dude that he put her with. Because he ain't me. Yes, right. He ain't you. He's the new you. Bitch. You know what I'm saying? She slayed this narc. And she slayed this narc by loving herself and walk away. That's all we got to do, divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? Walk away. The divine has the rest. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look at him over there. I told you he was messing with a whole lot of women. You know, but now his nuts over there hurt. Now they done screwed him. His, 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 his hips ain't working right. You know what I'm saying? He like, I don't like these threesomes. I only want to be with you. She don't want your nasty energy ass. You know what I'm saying? Take your trick dick ass back over there with them women at. It, it ain't happening over here. Gone. You got fleas, not gone. You know what I'm saying? Get on out of here. You know what I'm saying? Ridiculous. Ridiculous, y'all. I mean, man, you know, she don't want you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Over there having group sex. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You could have uh, this this chick or these chicks that he didn't have work against you. Somebody going to be in a car accident or he's going to be in a car accident. Yeah. You're going to get yours for what you did to Divine Feminine, bitches. All you witch bitches and his ass. You know what I'm saying? Somebody going to be in a car accident. And this masculine is freaking gay. So uh, I don't know what you want, bro. It's all about finances. It's all about uh, this career you have. It's all about this spiritual inheritance you have. That's all it's about. He don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is a whole gang of people that sleep with each other. A whole crew that sleeps with each other with their nasty ass. And he trying to sleep with you, girl, please. You in love. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you may need to get you a restraining order against this person because he's crazy. Him and these bitches he got with him is, is crazy. You know what I'm saying? You got your man. Oh, this is love. This is love. Yeah, honey. Yeah. He lost without you. You lost without this contract, you dumb bitch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was made for each other, but you chose a different path. See? She's a star seed. So she knows she's a star seed and you're a star seed, asshole. But you done messed it up. And now you doomed to be on this physical, something that you gave your life to. You're not even from her. And you done um, um, anchored yourself to this, uh, to this planet, to this atmosphere. You's a dumbass. You know what I'm saying? You from the stars. And because you want to be physical and worship the physical, you sit up here and attach yourself to this planet. You can't go nowhere while she flying around the galaxy. I mean, it's just a shame. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, it's stupid, man. You know what I'm saying? And this feminine just want to be left alone. And she just wants this masculine to please find her somewhere else because she's in love, honey. And ain't nothing you can do could change that. And you know that she's connected. And you know that she's connected. She's heavily protected. So go on with your life. Go somewhere and try to heal and leave this feminine alone. You know? Because she's in love. 
This is love, only love. Nobody makes me feel like you do. No one but you. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Go strategize how to get your life together, dog. And leave this feminine alone. Because you're just going to get deeper and deeper and deeper, more karma. And you can't handle what you got now. I mean, stupid. Just for being stupid, you got your contract snatched. And you still going to do some stupid stuff behind it because you got your contract snatched? Who you think you're dealing with? The divine going to bend your ass up and swat your ass so hard. You know what I'm saying? I feel sorry for you. I have pity on you. Because you're pitiful. <laughs> Well, this is the order that, this is the, uh, I said order. Wow, see, he's in some type of fraternal order. You know what I'm saying with his gay ass. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I have no problem with gay men. I just have a problem with men that are gay and try to be on a down low and still sleep with women and expose them to a lot of uh, things sexually that they shouldn't be exposed to. I be wanting men to keep it real. And this one definitely does not. All right? I love you, Divine Feminine, and I. this is the message that I have for you, boo. If you feel anybody could benefit from this message, please share the consciousness, share the awareness. We got some twins that are not making it together, and then we have some that are coming together, and we also have those that uh, one person was doing the right thing and the other one wasn't, and the contract has been snatched, and they've been replaced, and it's a happy life. This is love. I love y'all. And I will definitely see y'all on the next Divine Feminine Message. Y'all be good out there, okay? Bye-bye.